What's up guys, MGH here. Welcome back to another episode of my top 25 favourite players. In the last episode, we have a young left winger. In this episode, we have a middle-aged guy in his prime on the left side of midfield. And we are looking at Royce. Now, let me know, guys, how many of you thought he would feature in this top 25? Yeah, I bet every single person watching this video thought he would be. But how come he's only 7th? Well, let's talk about Royce. There's, there's a key point I want to make in this video. First of all, let's look at his stats. Unbelievable. This guy, for me, the most complete winger in the game, as it stands when you boot up the game. Um, potentially, you know, you're looking at, in the last episode, Depay will, will probably better him at some point in-game. But I think Royce, as he, as he comes when you start up the game, is probably the best left-sided midfielder in the game. Maybe Ribéry. You know, it's pretty tight. But for me, I've used Royce, obviously, with my Arsenal career mode. I've done a Dortmund career mode briefly, just for a bit of fun. And every single time, this guy, you can't replace him. You cannot bench him. He has to play every game. Um, looking at his stats, like I mentioned, they're pretty overpowered. You've probably been looking at them as I've been talking. So let's move on to skill attributes. Holy shit. Everything is dark green. He is just a complete winger. His ball control, his crossing, his curve, his dribbling, his finishing, his long passing, his long shots, his penalties, his short pass, his shot power, his volleys, they are all ridiculously high. Um, and looking at these as at these stats as well, he's only 25. You can see the potential on him there. He can play everywhere. Left mid, cam, right mid, left wing. You can play him as a striker. You can play him as a centre forward if you really want to. He's got great attacking work rate. He's got medium defensive work rate, which is absolutely fine. He's got four-star weak foot. He's got four-star skills. What more could you want? Now, you're probably thinking, well, Matt, you're praising him like this. Why is he down in your list all the way down to seventh? Let me put it this way for you guys. This is all about my favorite players. Royce couldn't be higher because he's too good. You're probably thinking, what the hell? How can someone be too good? It's almost like not fun, if you know what I mean. Royce, like literally in my Arsenal career mode, when I'm recording it, there's times where I go on amazing runs with him, shoot and almost score, but I refuse to put the clip in the video because it's just too, it's too easy to predict. As soon as Royce gets on the ball in this game, you hold sprint, you run. That is it. There's nothing else you need to do. And there is nothing the opposite opposition can do about it. He doesn't get tackled at all. He's just ridiculous. That's the reason he's not higher because, well... He's great fun to play with for a couple of months in-game maybe. But when you get to the next transfer window, you might be tempted to go for someone who's not as overpowered. I don't know, that's just me personally. I just find that this guy, he's almost too good and it almost kills the fun because he's that good. Doesn't make sense, but he had to be in my top 10 in terms of just quality. He is absolutely amazing on this game. And well, I recommend try him out if you haven't already. But to be honest, guys... Don't sign him if you're looking to have quite a challenging career mode because this guy will score hat-tricks for you every game if you want him to. And it's ridiculous. But there you go, guys. That's all I really wanted to point out with Royce. Yes, he's in my top 10. Is he in there for the wrong reasons? Probably. Because technically, I've had, I've had more fun with other wingers. But he had to feature just because he is that good. So thank you for watching, guys. A little bit of an odd one. But now we're getting interesting. I tell you that. The next few episodes are going to blow your mind. I will see you then.